welcome back everyone so if you wish to use a mac operating system and enjoy its exclusive application then you can easily do that by installing the mac operating system on a virtual machine by staying on windows 10 and windows 11. so without any delay let's quickly get started And before you starting guys make sure if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem so now let me first share the requirement that you should keep in your mind number one make sure the drive where you will be installing the mac operating system using a virtual machine that drive should have at least 80 to 100 gigabyte of free space Number two, the process may take around 16 to 18 gigabyte of data. So if you are connected with a limited data plan, then make sure you have enough data to install and download all these files. Number three, you will have to disable the memory integrity. For that, you need to click on your Windows search, type core. Then from the suggestion, you will have to click on core isolation. And here you have to disable the memory integrity option. Click on yes. Now don't worry, once you are done with installation, you can re-enable it back. And now finally, you also need to disable the Hyper-V. For that, you can click on your Windows search, type command prompt, right click on it, click run as admin, click on yes. The black window will be coming up. And now here you have to run a simple command that you will be getting in the description. So copy and right click here to paste it. Once it will be done, it says the operation completed successfully. Now close it and restart the computer. Once restarted, now you will have to bring up any of your favorite browser and in the search box, you have to type VirtualBox download and click on the first link. And here you have to click on Windows host and the downloading will be started and it's around 106 MB. So you will have to wait for some time. And once it get downloaded, you have to click on the downloaded file. Click on yes. The setup page will be up here. You have to click on next. If you want to change the location of this installation folder, then you can change it. I will keep it as it is. Then click on next. Click on yes. Yes again. And then finally click on install. Once the installation is completed, you will have to click on finish. And this kind of simple dashboard will be coming up. Now here you have to click on new. And then you have to name the operating system. So I will name it as Mac OS. If you want to change the folder or you want to rename any folder, then you can do it from here. Now we have to download the ISO image. So again, bring up any of your favorite browser. Open a new tab. Again, you will be getting the link of the ISO in the description. Copy and paste here. And then you will come to this website. Now here on the right hand side, click on the ISO image. And it will give you a different kind of version of the Mac operating system like Big Sur, Catalina, Monterey, Ventura. So I will go with the Big Sur as of now. So you will have to click on this download icon and it's around 13 gigabyte. So click on it and the downloading will be started and you will have to wait until this 13 gigabyte of ISO has been downloaded. So once it get downloaded, again, you will have to come back to the virtual box. In the ISO image, click on the drop down on the right hand side. Then click on other. Now locate to the place where you have downloaded the Big Sur ISO. Select it. Click on open. In the type, keep it to Mac OS X and in the version, make it selected to Mac OS X64 bit. Then you will have to click on next. And now next in the hardware section, you will have to assign the RAM and the processor to the new virtual machine. And it's recommended that you should give at least 8 gigabyte of RAM. But again, it will depend that what kind of configuration your real computer has. If you have 16 or more than that, then you can assign 8 gigabyte of ram but if you have only 8 gigabyte of ram then you have to go with half of that that is 4 gigabyte if you're not sure then you can right click on windows icon click on task manager click on performance click on memory and here on the right in top you will find that what kind of ram you have on my end it's 16 so i'll go and assign 8 gigabyte of ram and also keep in mind that you do not go beyond this green line now next you have to give the processor count. So again, bring up the task manager, click on the CPU and here on the right hand corner, you will find the core on my end. It's eight. So I have to go with the half of that. That is four. 
on your end if it shows you four then you have to go with two once done click on next and here you have to create a virtual hard disk now to assign the disk space to this virtual machine again it will depend that what kind of space is free on your real drive so on my end i have 174 gigabyte of free so i will give around 17 gb you can take less or more than that depending that what kind of space is available then click on next click on finish and now you will see that the mac os will be displaying on the left hand side now before running and installing it we have to make some kind of changes for that click on settings and here from the left hand menu option click on system and here in the boot order you will have to uncheck the floppy option just keep that unchecked and then make sure that this enable io ap ic option and hardware clock and efi option has been checked then click on the display option keep the video memory to the maximum here to 128 mb and check the option of enable 3d acceleration and then click on the network here now here in the adapter one it's already been set to nat additionally for a backup click on adapter 2 enable this option and from the drop down choose bridged adapter and then from the drop down choose the wireless adapter then you don't have to do any kind of changes in the usb if you want to change to 3.0 then you can do that if you're not sure then you can keep it to 2.0 only then finally you have to click on ok all right so now next we have to patch the virtual machine so that we can easily go with the installation process now in the general section make sure that you remember the virtual machine name that is mac os and now you will have to close the virtual box make sure that it's not running in the background because it should be completely closed next click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here we have to run few command and all these command you will be getting in the description now here you will be getting the command depending that you are using the intel or the amd processor i'm using the amd processor so i will come to the amd section and here these are the command that you will have to run but before that you have to replace the virtual machine name so if you remember i told you that what is the virtual machine name so in order to replace it select vm name then in the notepad from the top menu option click on edit click on find click on the drop down and in the replace box you have to type the virtual machine name once done you have to click on replace all now you can close it and you can see that all the names are being replaced so now just copy all these command go back to the command prompt right click and paste it and it will be automatically running all right so once done now we're good to go to close it again bring up the virtual box select mac os and click on this start arrow icon all right so the process will now be started and it may take some time so you will have to wait until it give you the next screen but in case if it is stuck on the installation screen or if you get any kind of error then you will have to go ahead and close it select power of the machine click on ok close the virtual box and then you will have to go ahead and restart the computer once it get restarted again search for the virtual box open it and again select the mac os then click on start again it will be powering up and now it will be initializing again and this time you will not be getting any kind of installation error and neither it will be stucking on installation page so wait for some time and then finally you will be coming to the language page so select your desired language click on the arrow icon and here you will be getting four different options so before clicking on install mac you will have to click on disk utility click on continue now here from the left hand menu option select vbox hard disk media and we have to format it so once selected click on erase give a hard disk name that you want to give click on erase again and once it will be done you have to click on done now you can close this box and now you can click on install mac os big sur click on continue click continue again click on agree click on agree again select your virtual mac disk that you have created click on continue and the installation will be started so again it will take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done Okay, so finally the installation has been completed. Now it will ask you select your country or region. So choose your country. Then you have to click on continue. Click continue again. 
accessibility you can click on not now so you just have to go with the configuration just choose the options migration assistance you can click on not now then it will ask you to sign in with your apple id so you can skip as of now but if you have any then you can sign in then you have to go with terms and condition click on agree and now you have to give your full name the account name and the password in order to log into your this account all right so give you all your detail give the password then you have to click on continue click continue choose the city voice select it all right so bingo now you can see that we have the mac os on the virtual machine successfully installed and you can go ahead and enjoy any kind of application you can enjoy the apple store and download any kind of application and run on this virtual machine similarly you can do any other thing that you want to now one thing that you will have to keep in your mind that this virtual machine of mac os will not be that is smoother and faster as compared to the real computer but yes at least you would be able to test it you would be able to enjoy their interface you would be able to enjoy the mac os experience now additionally if you want to make it to full screen then what you will have to do just close the virtual machine choose power of the machine click on ok then click on your windows search again type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and here we have to run few command so again you will be getting this command in the description only so copy the first command here right click here to paste it then hit the enter key and now you will be in the virtual box location next and now you need to run this command but before copying it make sure that you replace your virtual machine name over here and then i'm taking the resolution of 1920 into 180 but if you want to go with any other resolution however i would recommend you but still if you want to go with any other resolution then you can change from here so once you have done the changes copy it again go back to command prompt right click paste it again hit the enter key once done now you can close it again bring up the virtual box and start the machine enter your username password and now you can see the resolution has been changed to 1920 into 180 and if you want to make it full screen then you will have to click on view that is on the left and top and then click on full screen mode click on switch so now you can see that it looks like you are running mac operating system on the real computer so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and if you have any doubt any problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye